sorry for the delay of this video. Uh, I know I've been mentioning that I'm gonna make this for a really long time, but uh, I've been really busy, both in game and real life, so haven't really been able to make it until now. Uh, but I guess it's not necessarily a bad thing, because I learned a lot more stuff that I can actually share now. So, yeah, well, let's start. Um, or actually, before we do start, uh, I would actually like to mention that you shouldn't like just take and do everything I say here. So what I do here is that I'm gonna show you what I know and then you can just do whatever you want with it instead of like telling you this is how it is because I've seen a lot of those videos like you know guides and stuff on YouTube and it's more often than not just a bunch of bullshit. So yeah, because I guess in the end of the day we don't really have all the answers for this game no matter how hard we try because there's just not enough information available and where I'm coming from when it comes to like you know actual theory crafting if you have like you know programs doing like tens of thousands of iterations for you and we don't really have that here and there's no tool tips no nothing so I think it's kind of uh, we're a bit in the dark here but I still have some interesting stuff to share so and we're gonna go through everything so we're actually gonna start with the uh, stats and let's see here uh, yeah, first I will just go through the stats. I know it sounds super basic, but uh, I think it's just good that we know what everything does before we go into which that we actually want. So, starting with P attack, this obviously is like attack power in other games. Uh, it will just make you deal more damage. Uh, not really much more to say here. Same is obviously with M attack, although that's not really relevant for us right now. But uh, yeah. Uh, then we have the defenses. I believe this acts as a damage reduction thing for us so the more we have the less damage we are going to receive um, same thing with this one obviously just for magic damage instead of p damage uh, while we are at these two i can probably say that p defense is more worth than m defense simply because gunslingers and blade masters are more dangerous than soul dancers and assassins um, also for pve if we are going to look at that uh, i suppose most buffs attacks are actually p attacks or like physical where the magic stuff, if there is any, anything, then that's like, you know, the red stuff on the ground that you shouldn't really be taking or soaking anyways, since you can like run out of it and stuff. So yeah, there's that. Um, AP, attack, or sorry, attack power. <laughs> uh, armor penetration, obviously. Um, so what this does, uh, if I understand things correctly, is that it will um, work as a, what do you say? counter for defenses so the more defense you have the more damage you are reducing however attack power will work in the opposite direction so yeah you want attack power because that is going to let you do more damage on your targets um, there has been like zero information on like how this works in pve i don't know if the like enemies actually has it or if it's like a flat number or you know i have no idea but this game from what i can tell is more about like the end game here is pvp not pve simply because you can't really um you can't really uh, balance this game that well in pve considering like there's so many different levels of where people are i mean you have those that don't spend any money and then you have those that spend some money and then you have the people that spend a lot of money so i mean where do you actually balance it i mean take wow for example that i played before you have like these bosses where where you're like sitting there for like you know five minutes and really min maxing everything and then you wipe on like one percent then stuff matters but here it's like either you kill it or you don't it's not that tight here really i mean sometimes you might lose a little bit but then you know you come back a few days later and you got like another thousand rating and you just kill it so yeah anyways uh moving on cdr um cooldown reduction uh, not much more to say here really, I mean it really just makes your cooldown shorter. We are going to go into more in depth on these things in a little bit, but um, there is a soft cap on this, I can tell you that, which is 25% uh, from what I have found at least. Um, after that you will need a lot more rating to, you know, get more of a change to your cooldowns. Um, smite level, uh, I don't know why they haven't fixed this yet, but that is indeed crit level. Uh, as it says up here, I don't know why they haven't changed it down here. Um, scales really well with gun gunslingers, uh, simply because gunslingers have a lot of sources of crit damage. 
as you can see, I'm standing doing nothing now, and I still have 185%, which is pretty awesome. I think it goes up to like, what, 215 or something, maybe even higher. Um, so yeah, that's why crit is worth a lot for us. But uh, there are going to be some other information that we're going, going to go into in a little bit. But uh, yeah, crit is good. We like that. MS, multi-strike. Um, so yeah, it's basically a chance. It's kind of like a crit, but crit works a little bit different, right? Because like, you deal damage and then you have, um, yeah, you deal damage to, to your target and then you will have, it's either a miss or a, or a dodge rather, I'm talking PvP now, obviously that doesn't happen in PvE, but uh, yeah, first game check, is, is it a dodge or is it a hit? If it's a dodge, you deal no damage, or if it's a hit, you will deal damage, and then you check, okay, is this going to be a crit or is it not going to be a crit? If it's a crit, then you obviously add the crit damage to that, and uh, then you also check, is it going to be a multi-strike proc from that or not? And that's where multi-strike comes in. It's like a secondary hit on top of your, uh, on your hit, so to speak, it's the blue text, you know. Um, and yeah. Not super amazing, honestly. Not because it's bad, like the damage is really sweet. Uh, the problem is that it scales kind of badly. I'm gonna show you some testing I did later. Um, so yeah, we don't really care about this. Um, there's also kind of a cap here. I don't know exactly where it is, but yeah, we're, we're gonna go all into all this later. Um, I think the core is the next, yeah. We're gonna go into the core and then talk a little bit about that stuff. So we will get back there. Uh, next hit. This is for PvP. I believe this works as a counter for dodge. So if you have a lot of dodge, you're obviously gonna, well, dodge a lot of attacks, but hit will make you kind of combat that, just like AP and uh, defenses work. Uh, so yeah, for PvP, you like it. You definitely want that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Why do we do even have smite level again down here? No idea. But anyways, uh, let's see here. What does it actually say? Decreases damage taken from other players okay that's the same as defense i don't know this is just super weird so now we're gonna talk about the stats that we want to go for i personally have thought that this combination is the best one crit elemental attack or wind attack in this case obviously since we're gunslingers i'm just talking for both bm and i'm playing both so but yeah wind attack obviously uh, strength dexterity p attack and ap however i am actually going to change and remove my dexterity for INS and I know it sounds super weird and like if we look up here that's not how we should do it because obviously this is recommended but I think it's time for us to yeah I'm gonna like cut in a uh, notepad thing like, like it should be there right now in edits after and as we can see um, this is like a chart we made with some tests here um, like how much cooldown do the different things have with different ratings and then we kind of calculated the uh, percentage of, of reduction and as we can see it starts on obviously on zero you will have zero reduction and that makes sense we tried the 60 second and the 40 second uh, skills or obviously you can replace this with any like the camouflage or the, or the stealth sorry and the or the laser cannon or whatever it is um, and yes, we did mm, not go with the deep talent or the SD, obviously, because that's like a 5%, uh, which would change the results a little bit. But yeah, it's just flat um, CDR rating here, or CD rating. Oh, cool on reduction rating, yeah, CDR rating. Anyways, um, so yeah, at 6,600, 6, you have 10%. At um, 13,600, you have 17% reduction. And it keeps going down from here pretty nicely, uh, but... As you can see, the difference of having nothing until 13 is quite nice. There's seven seconds there, uh, but then going, getting like another seven, um, seven thousand rating, you only lose like one second there. Then you like add another three, you, you're still on the same. I mean, uh, even though you see the 60 second one did lose a second there, but it's still pretty bad. It's like two percent difference. Uh, but then you have the uh, 4,000 extra, then you're down one second, and then you have, on my character currently, uh, 38,000, and that gives me 30 uh, second cooldown on my uh, skills, I can actually show it even. Uh, that's not what I want to do, let's dismount, there we go, and let's go stealth, there we go, 30 seconds. Interesting method, he has 52,000. Uh, 52, um, Probably more now, but I mean, when he when we were discussing this, he had uh, 52,000, and his cooldown of his uh, th 40 second cooldowns is 29 seconds. That means he has about well 14,000 more than me, 
and well, he loses one second only. So from here, it's gonna scale really badly, um, which means that I am not too fond of CDR anymore, personally. Um, there's gonna be a disclaimer at the end of all this, which means yeah, we're gonna go through that in a in a in a moment. But yeah, CDR basically is kind of dead to me. It's not really worth it because you need so much to actually make a difference, meaning that we can actually invest in something else instead. Uh, moving on to other things, um, MSN crit, and this is actually super interesting to me. Um, I'm going to put a little notepad. Uh, cut into the screen that you will see now and uh, what you're actually seeing here um, These are some tests I did um, As I said in the start of the video, we don't really have any fancy tools that we can run, you know, a long num or yeah, a long Test or whatever, you know, like a one hour DPS thing, you know, and then check how many crits and hits and everything we have So yeah, I had to do it the old-fashioned way uh, What I did, I'm just gonna tell you about my methods, is that I went on a, on the, what's it called, at level 120 enemy in, in Siberia, the truffle, whatever it's called, and I just stood there for one minute, exactly sec uh, 60 seconds, and I was just spamming normal attack on it. I recorded it, and I played it in slow motion and counted how many crits I had and how many multi-strikes. I know it sounds kind of stupid, but yeah, I think it gave us a pretty interesting idea uh, anyways. Um, let's start with the crit at the bottom. Uh, that character had 28,400 um, crit rating and got 42 crits. In, in this time, in one minute. Uh, the next character had 31.7 and got 54 crits. Then we have 44.7 uh, at 73, so that's a big nice jump there. Uh, then we have another 4,000 and we got a few more crits. And lastly, it's on my own character, 64,000 crit rating and 89 crits. Uh, what we can see here is that it's, it's increasing. Even though like it's gonna be less and less all the time, I suppose, but it's still increasing because the first jump is like kind of big. Even though the rating gain is not that large, it's like three k rating, but it's like a twelve uh, crit difference, so to speak. Uh, then you have another thirteen k rating, uh, and the, and the increase is uh, what's it called? Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, that's a nine increase. No, 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 sorry, not nine. Nineteen, sorry. Um, so yeah, that also makes sense. Uh, but then you have an increase of four thousand, which is like you know, only uh, a difference of, of six. Uh, and then you have another like big jump, but you only get like 10 more. So you can see you get, you get like less and less all the time, uh, but you still get stuff. So that's like the main point. So crit is still nice. I like crit. Um, what's interesting, however, is the multi-strikes. What is going on there? So um, the first one is the same character that had the 28k crit. Uh, at 8,800 multi-strike, we got 17 procs in one minute. Uh, then we have the next one, is on a character with 22.9k, and I had 29 multi strike procs. But then something happened, 37,000 rating. That's like, what is it? Mm, math, 15,000? Yeah, 15,000 more rating than of the uh, 22,000 one. And we only have 25 procs, so what happened there? Like, if it was the same, I could be like, okay, I was kind of lucky, but I mean, even less, that kind of tells us that there might be a, like a hidden soft cap or whatever somewhere at around I don't know where the soft cap is actually probably around 20k I would say well my interest for multi strike just dropped by a lot um, which brings us to uh, if, if we're looking at this thing here uh, dexterity versus uh, INS because I think that strength is like a no brainer we definitely want that meaning we want the wind attack I'm back to what stats we want in the gear now by the way but yeah wind attack you want to have um, physical attack like P attack you want to have um, strength you want to have crit uh, how many more do we have now oh yeah and then it's the uh, attack power of, of course and attack power AP, arm and penetration, of course. AP, and that leaves us with one. And and as I showed you earlier, like I showed you earlier, we have Dex now, but I'm gonna change that for INS. And the reason is that if we compare these two, 240, 240, they take out each other. Then we have P attack taking out each other. That leaves us with CDR and multi strike. Multi strike is, well, not that interesting, so we remove that. And then we have CDR removing that as well. Um, that leaves us with crit and AP. And yeah, like I said, I kind of favor AP over crit simply because, not because crit is bad, not at all, crit is awesome. However, AP is simply going to get you further because that's always going to be beneficial where crit is going to do less and less for you. 
uh, which brings us to D4. And as you can probably guess already, we're going with a full red, um, nine reds or uh, um, strength gems, fire, I mean. Uh, and we're going with five blue, as you probably can guess, that is for the INS. And then we have wind gems, two of those. So yeah, nine fire, five water, and two wind gems. Uh, and the same thing will, like I said, be the same, same thing for the gear. Uh, what's also interesting about the gear, actually, before we leave that, is here. If we assume that we have these crowns here, 215% more, uh, the highest stat you can kinda get, kinda, of the uh, secondary stats, I'm just gonna call them that, the primary stats or main stats will be, you know, strength, X, I, N, S. Um, but yeah, the, the, the maximum is like 700 something, which means you will have like 1,500. Uh, there's eight parts, that means you have 12,000 of these stats available. Uh, of the other ones, uh, these guys, you will have around 77 as a maximum. That's 77 times uh, eight, which is, I'm actually gonna need a calculator for that. Uh, we have 77 times eight, that is, yeah, 616. Um, that's the stats you're gonna get. So. This means that you're going to have 1,200 P attack. You're going to have 2,400 of the other two uh, stats. Let's go back here. So 1,200 of those, and then 2,400 of these here. Uh, obviously, the crit is actually going to be higher on a GS. I'm still, like I said, I'm in half mind of a um, of a gun. Uh, sorry, BM. But yeah, six times uh, 616, of course, that would be 3,600. But of course, then. 1,200 on multi strike, but that doesn't matter. Still, 3,696. How much is that actually going to be? How many crits is that going to be? Probably not like a whole lot at my level. But this is the thing. I'm just showing what I'm going to do personally. If you don't have this much rating, if you have like lower um, stats, and like I said, uh, compare it to the chart I have and kind of estimate how much you know, how many more crits you're gonna have, and you you should like kind of check yourself. Uh, if it's actually worth it for you, um, then you should probably like go for wind instead. But nine, uh, nine red ones, uh, you know, strength for the core, that is what you should do regardless. You, there's like no discussion there. But this here, uh, when you're not like maximum, you should probably like or super whale mode like this character, then you should definitely go for um, greens, I would say. However, if you are. Um, having this much rating now and you see that your crit is not going to be as beneficial anymore, you should probably just grab the water ones. Uh, CDR is not as big of a deal for a gunslinger as it is for a, as it is for a, say, BM for example, uh, which means that, the because then you could have a discussion obviously that, oh, maybe I should go for the blue anyways. Yeah, probably should because, you know, you only get four crit instead of six and um, CDR is actually more beneficial for you. But well, yeah, conclusion. I'm just gonna make a conclusion here because it's uh, like a lot easier. If you're not like super high rating, uh, you should go for uh, Dex before INS. However, if you are super high rating, like this character here, and we've seen that before, uh, then INS is probably better than Dexterity. That's what I'm gonna do anyways. Um, so yeah, there's that. So yeah, uh, before we go for the next, uh, thing to discuss. Um, I just want to show you these calculations here. This is super weird. It's probably like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not super good with math, like, but sometimes it just comes to me. And this is what like one of those places where that, where that happened or, or times. And yeah, I don't really know how to explain it properly. I just want to show you like the thought process behind uh, what I did when I found out that the um, Strength is better than dexterity because that was like a discussion that uh, was like early on in this game where uh, dexterity is best as a GS and like if you get more than a certain threshold of uh, rating I guess you could say like 200k or whatever no one really knew um, then you know strength would actually be better. However, um, after doing these tests here, you can see on, it's like similar to the stuff that you saw before. This is just the first like version of it. Um, yeah, honestly, I can't even remember what I did. I just wanted to show you, maybe someone can like reverse engineer it, but what I did was that I just checked like the amount of crits uh, compared to rating, and then just saw like how many more or, or less crits the rating would be worth pretty much. And and then I would compare the cores, of course, to each other. Um, 
so you can see down there on the side there that's like if, if you go with like you know nine nine red um, five um, green ones or, or the other way around and that's like the different stats that you would get from that and the pluses and minuses basically so starting at nine green five red uh, you and then swapping to red instead you would lose uh, the stats that says in the bottom there like you, uh, yeah let's see you would gain 1.1k p attack but you would lose 2.2k crit um, and you would also gain some ap there and that crit down there is basically worth i believe that's the middle number the 3.95 so you, it's like four more crits in a minute that you would get but you would obviously hit less so that was kind of my conclusion for that one um, and the next thing that I want to talk with you about is um, arm penetration, or rather a quote from Method, actually. We had a little discussion on, uh, on uh, Discord, and he, um, yeah, he, he told me this, and it made total sense. I'm, I'm definitely behind this. Um, so yeah, uh, start quote, uh, P attack works on a linear scale, while AP is exponential. If enemy has 99% damage reduction, and you drop his reduction by 1% to 98%, that 1% will net you like 100% more damage. But if enemy has 1% damage reduction and you reduce it to zero, that 1% will only net you 1.01% uh, 1 .01, um, damage. And that makes total sense because, I mean, that's the thing, right? I mean, if the, the more they have, um, the bigger impact it's going to do, like, when you reduce it. So, and that's the thing, like, the, the stronger we get in the game, and we are just going to get stronger from here on, then AP will actually be uh, worth more. Where other stats, like... Crit and MS being R&D stats are actually going to scale worse, like, the more we get, especially if you're wailing a lot, because, you know, you're just going to hit these, um, these, like, soft caps, you know, and then you're just going to get a very, like, small return. Um, and then, of course, we have CDR that has that really shitty cap as well at the 25. So, yeah, that's kind of why I don't really like those in, in front of AP that is uh, at least when you get to, to this point and like I said I'm not 100% sure about what the actual caps are um, crit doesn't really have that hard of a cap like the others uh, or like it's, uh, it's it's not as bad but I would say M is probably around 20k um, CDR mm, 30 to 35k somewhere around there mm, but it kind of makes sense that they made it like this right because obviously this game has like the limits are very high considering it's just a question of how much money you can spend at the end of the day, and it kind of doesn't make sense. Like, take China, for example, on those servers. You have that guy there, uh, they call him the whale killer, he has like one and a half million uh, rating, um, and if there would not be any caps here, that would mean he would probably, you know, have no cooldowns at all, uh, he would uh, crit on every hit, and each of those hits would also proc a multi-strike, which kind of doesn't make sense. I mean, it's like too OP, even though it's still crazy, right? I mean, he probably doesn't take any damage, and, and you know, he probably hurts a lot because uh, I suppose defenses and, and P attack and, and such, those kind of stats uh, are pretty much limitless. But yeah, so there's that. And the next thing we're going to talk about is the pet actually. I figured this could actually be worth talking about. Um, yeah. So, what is my suggestion here? Well, first of all, Start with the light pets. You should get the uh, water power, that's just uh, gonna increase your P attack. Why not? We like that. And for the other assess assist, I think you should go for shadow light armor simply because that is a fuckload of uh, P defense. Um, actually, it's a lot. It's like 29k or something from, from this one, give or take. I, I just have that number in my head. Uh, because then you should also grab. Okay, that's not the one. Where is it? Mm -hmm this one. So P defense and shadow light. Those two work very nice together. Because some people would argue that oh, I should get the shield instead, uh, that's like you know 100k or something, you know. but I mean how much is 100k actually? I mean I, I have quit people for like a million. I mean that shield is just gone right there. Where P attack or P defense rather is going to decrease the damage you take like overall, which is pretty nice. And I mean obviously I have a lot of uh, P defense like 100k, but for people that don't have this crazy amount of rating, you're gonna have like what 20, 30, maybe 40k, and then you're gonna get like double that amount, maybe even more than you have, you know, from that. So, I mean, that's super worth it. 
Um, for the rest of the things, I would just say go for all the ones that give 800%. I mean, that's just so many stats. So there's like no point not doing that, honestly. And then, of course, get the attack one as well. So attack one, all the 800 ones, and the P defense ones. Then we have the shadow pets. And same thing here. P defense, the 800 ones, and the attack one. As for assists, uh, we do have the wrong ones here, I see now. Um, that's not the ones that I'm personally interested in, so I'm just going to use this thing instead um, and go for, yeah. This one is the first one I would say. I don't know how much this matters, I haven't checked how much damage these things deal. If I could just like go, I, I don't want to like waste my diamonds right now on this, but because we're going to get a new pet at 1190. Or is that light pet? Yeah, that's light pet, it doesn't matter. But yeah, it's probably not a huge deal, but this one, it's for level 75, so it just makes sense to get this one because you know, it's higher level. Uh, and then the other choice would be either this guy here or this one here. I would personally just grab this one, but yeah. So, like I said, Darkness Mastery and Shadow Killer, that's the ones you probably want here. Not like make or break though. There's one more thing we can actually discuss though. Um, because the stats of these pets are um, scaling with the like level of the pet. Um, which means that, uh, yeah, you can see here the Adams, it's like super low rating, right? And just keeps going up because they have more stats. Uh, however, for Dark, you're going to have two choices. You're going to have the... Um, uh, those are not, that's not equipped, by the way, that's why it shows so little. But yeah, the Dark pets, they are exactly equal in stats, as you can see. Nothing changes. Uh, which one is actually better? This one or this one? Well, for PvP, I would say 100% this one, simply because of the ultimate. Uh, it's like that thing where there's like a circle on the ground, there's a whale coming up, and you can't kind of avoid that, and then you get like knocked up in the, in the air. Obviously, if you have super armor on, you're not going to be knocked anywhere, but yeah. It's just fast, it comes, and it's going to hit. We like that. This one here shoots a little shadow bolt that is flying towards the target. Sadly, that thing is not homing, meaning that it's very easy for this to just miss and it's just whatever. So yeah, that's the reason we want to use the dragon instead of the kuma. Sadly, because this one is like, I just found it so cute to use on the small form. That's just too cute. Uh, wait, I can actually, did I swap to that one now? I hope I didn't. Where's my squad? Oh, I can actually have it out. That's awesome. This like tiny mouse. I named it mouse just to be annoying because kuma actually means bear in, in Korean, Japanese, Chinese, not sure which one it is, but yeah, in one of those languages it means um, bear. And that is not a bear, that's a mouse, so yeah. There we go. And hmm, I kind of want to go to the moon realm now and just, no, let's not do that. So, um, moving on. Uh, allies. Right. We do have the luxury of having every single ally in the game, so we can actually mix, mix and match here. But this is the ones that I choose to go with. Uh, no, no, need some leveling. Let's go do that. Okay, that didn't get us very far, but yeah. Uh, these are the allies that I want to go with. Um, and I'm optimized for ladder now, by the way. Because like I said before, we could get like a, uh, what's it called? We could go for a setup that is for PvE, but like I said, it kind of doesn't matter, so I don't really care about that. We just want to be as optimized for, well, group PvP, if I may. Uh, so this is the setup that I personally went with, and we are going to look at what they do as well. Um, we sh I'm just going to find my spreadsheet, I don't know where it is, so I'm just going to black it out. Oh, there it is, hiding. Where, boo, allies, yeah, here we go. That picture, though, always moving. There we go. So, this is what we will see now. Um, yeah, Airy will be spearheading the whole group uh, simply because she just does so much. She, yeah, she increases our damage dealt as that ultimate proc. Then we have this that's going to um, just deal a lot of damage. And then we're also going to have crit damage. And we like crit damage because crits are nice. Um, some people would probably argue that Ming would be better. Um, so we're actually going to look at him. And yeah, I can already say that obviously Ming is definitely 100% going to be in the squad. Uh, he's really, really good. You're going to get crit, you're going to get AP, you're going to get MS, you're going to get CD. Uh, well, 
between one and four of these. If you're lucky, you get all four. If you're not, then you get less of them. But yeah, that's awesome, right? Then we have this one. This is just amazing. He's gonna make this big purple smoke smoke cloud, which will silence anyone that stands inside of it and also decrease your movement speed. And that's awesome, obviously. And obviously a passive here that's not going to be activated is multi-strike. So we don't really care about that. So that's why I feel it's a little bit waste. Maybe for an assassin you could actually be thinking about this. I don't know enough about assassin to know how much multi-strike is worth based on what we said before with the caps and all that. Uh, but yeah, that's definitely something to think about when you're an assassin. But yeah, Ming is awesome. Thumbs up on that one. Um, another one that you could actually run as a main, I have him as support, uh, is Caesar. And before going into that, we have three to choose from. Uh, obviously this one has the best ultimate, the normal one. Then we have this one, which is reducing movement speed. I'm not super fan of that, because I'm mean, sure that's annoying, but at the same time, I don't know. People get super armor, you know, they don't care about that, or yeah, I don't know. I'm not too much a fan. And then this one obviously doesn't have anything, except the range of this is obviously bigger, but well, I kind of like this. Buffs, more buffs. Uh, the passive, or EX, sorry, the EX special is the same on all of them. It will remove your CC, so that's really awesome because we don't have that much, or have that much. We're not, what's called, we're not blade masters here. Meaning they are CC immune, we are not, so we like that, CC break. And you also get more movement speed, you get more dodge, you get more dodge percentage, and you will never miss. I like that. I don't know how long this thing lasts actually, but I mean, it sounds like a good deal nonetheless. Um, but then we have some other interesting things here to look at on the other Caesars. We have dodge, which is always nice of course, but then you have increased damage here. This only applies if you're going to use him as a main, by the way. But yeah, dodge, higher damage, and hit. Hit obviously means that you're going to do more damage, or rather you're going to get, gonna get li uh, less dodges. Oh no, I disconnected. Let's get back in the game. But yeah, more damage is kind of self-explanatory, obviously, and then you have dodge, that's also nice. So yeah, you kind of have to feel yourself which one you prefer here, really. I personally, if I would main this thing, because like for these things, as a secondary, this just, it's a no-brainer to just use this one, in my opinion. But if you would use them as a main, hmm, that's a hard one. That's a hard one for PvP. Because I don't have, I, I mean, I don't know how much damage we're talking, and I don't know... Hmm. Maybe we can check that actually. Let me just see here. Let's just check this super quickly. Uh, which one gave us damage? That is the middle one. That is the partisans are right. So partisans are where are you? Do, 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 do. Is that no? That's the one. Partisans are that's the wrong one. Partisans are there. We go complete. I hate this. There we go. Thank you. Does he actually give us a buff though? He does not. Hmm. Well, that's typical. Well, changing back then, I will forget otherwise. But yeah, so there's that. Mm, so I'm not sure how much it is. I would assume it's like 10 or 15% though. Just guessing. So don't take my word for that. But yeah. So there's that. Caesar. And before going, bond effects are really nice. 300% more stats, I get that. However, I think the allies are a lot more worth for their abilities and not the stats that they give. You will get stats from uh, anywhere else, but you won't get these you know, unique abilities. So prioritize that for sure. Um, the next one I choose to go with is No-No. Um, there's obviously a bunch of choices here, or rather two choices, uh, but I go with the one that increases our AP instead of decreases the target's attack, because we want to buff ourselves. Also this one, this is awesome. Increases AP of your allies, and if everyone in the team runs that, you're gonna have obviously a higher uptime on that. I like that. So, no, no, definitely a good choice. Then for the last one, we have Chisei Gen. Mm, let's see, yeah. Chisei Gen decreases that, not super amazing, honestly. Uh, decreases the target attack, uh, but I mean, it's, you're still gonna like receive less damage, and then you have this AoE knockdown, super annoying. Uh, and dealing P damage. So yeah, he's probably the weakest of the bunch, I have to say that. So he, if you want to replace something or whatever, then he is definitely a candidate for that, I would say. Um, another choice that some people like is, of course, Johan, that I've seen, and I don't blame them. As a matter of fact, I kind of like him too, now that I'm looking at him. More crit and aerial. That's, I mean, yeah, annoying as well. What level is mine? Uh, 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 
Johan, yeah, I, I, he's a bit low level. I might actually just bring him up to speed, you know, and, and actually start using him, because he could definitely be something I could use instead of GSA. He's level 2 though, what's my GSA? I think it's higher level. It's level 3, yeah, well, it's good to go. So yeah, maybe if I level them to the same level, I would actually replace GSA Gen, because I'm not a super fan of him, actually. Um, there are two more choices I would like to discuss though. One is Ruri, and this is not that you should use him, but rather I did a five minute duel where I had a friend in my club DPSing me, and she was like shooting on me for uh, five minutes, and this EX special thing did just not proc at all. Uh, because on paper it looks amazing, I mean it ignores armor and it will cause a delay on 5 enemies within 5 meters of the target for 15 seconds. That sounds like something extremely annoying, but it just did not want to proc on me at all. Um, so maybe it's bugged, I don't know, but yeah, I wasn't super impressed. So Ruri, mm, thumbs down. Then you have uh, Luminous. And yeah, two choices. The normal one doesn't really do much, except for dealing damage in a very small area, not very impressive. The other one, however, gives you a shield, and that is not bad. And it also increases your defenses, I like that. But what's also interesting is this thing here. And before, at least, they might have fixed it, they didn't say anything in a patch note, but they might have fixed it, is that as a blade master, I just want to add this, I know we're not talking blade master here, but I just want to add it anyways. If this thing procs while you are being resurrected, you would be immortal, like you can't die because you're stuck in that resurrection mode without dying, and yeah, that's pretty crazy if that actually happens. Um, but we tried that a bunch of times, we just could not get it to work, um, so they might have actually fixed it, which, yeah, I don't know, a small chance. I have gotten this to proc, and I mean, it's nice when it happens, but when it doesn't happen, or, you know, when you don't die or whatever it could be, because obviously you're, you're going to die less and less the more powerful you are compared to your enemy, so for me, this is kind of whatever, meaning that I would be running around with, like, only this. So, nah, I'm not too, like, into all this. But if we're just going to discuss the rest of them uh, while we are here, I mean. Uh, I don't know, we have gone through Caesar, we have gone through Johan, actually we didn't go through this one, although that's the same. Like the, the part of Johan is just a better one, I'll call it Johan, so that does make sense to go for. Um, and of course the normal Johan is the best of the bunch. Um, what else do we have? No no is there. Part of no no is like a worse version of that, you say, Ming. Well, Chi Men and you then, let's just look at this. I'm not going to go through all of them because that's just like boring. But um, yeah, what do these do? It's CDR and knockback. I like the movement speed and CDR. No thanks. Not interested. Then we have Chi Men gives you a, uh, like a shield there. I guess that's pretty cool and gives you damage reduction. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I would say go for this rather than Luminous just because this is just RD. Problem there, however, is that. Yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, there's damage, and there's more damage versus monsters, and that's you know, obviously not a thing in PV, uh, PvP. And yeah, I don't know if this reduces the monsters' damage down or the enemies regardless, or you know, if this is the only thing that's with monsters. The wording is like super weird, so yeah, it's like in game, so I didn't really get that. But yeah, there's that. So just to conclude this, um, I would say that the best four or, or five sorry to go is airy as a main just because of crit damage and we like crit damage as uh, gs um, then you have no no caesar ming and as the last one i would probably say yoan not gsa so yeah uh, that's actually good that i checked this although like i said i need to um oh there's a whale now hmm. should we do the whale yeah let's put myself on a whale but yeah uh, like i said um my gsa is level three my yoan is level two and the level is higher on gsa as well so that's a bummer but first I'm going to bring my no-no up to speed, so yeah, there's that. Uh, what do we do now? Where are we? I don't know. Uh, let's see here, we have gone Alice. Oh, it's talents time. So, let's see here. And yeah, talents. Here we go. Precision Strike. This is my favorite here. Uh, each crit gives you one stack of this buff and it can stack up to five times and it's six percent crit damage for each that means once you start attacking you're not gonna lose this and you're gonna have a 30 uh, percent uh, crit damage just yeah all the time it's awesome we like that the other choice is uh, this one it's not bad 
it gives you a little bit more energy. The problem is that the crit damage is just better. Like, because this is like not that much. It's still a nice thing, you know, but it's just not as good as the crit damage. Then we have this charging core. A pretty interesting one, considering how I play. I've seen a bunch of different rotations being um, being suggested, but um, yeah, the way I play uh, is that I charge up full energy and then I use the laser cannon, which is really awesome with this thing. Uh, they have actually increased this one. It was 15% before, I think, and now it's 20, uh, which is awesome. Um, it's just not really worth it, because here's the thing. You are going to deal more damage with this, of course, but it's only for your laser cannon and a few more hits after that. And after that, we're not really going to have full energy anymore, which means... Mm, I don't like it. I mean, we could do it depending on like some of the uh, rapid fire procs we're going to get to that later, but I don't know. I just like the crit damage thing more. It's just more like controllable, you know. Like if this was like World of Warcraft where you have like a bunch of admins that you can track stuff, we could definitely add more of this stuff, but we're kind of not doing that here. So mm, I don't know, I'm not really a fan of this. I could be wrong here, I definitely could be wrong, but it just feels like you have to, you know, get this thing up to maximum or to proc this on cooldown, you know, for it to even be viable. And I know like in reality that's not gonna happen. So nah. Going for this precision strike, definitely. For both PvP and PvE, by the way, may I add. Moving up to B talent. Um, at lower rating, I actually went for this thing here. Uh, simply because that would actually... Uh, let me just check where's the whale now. Okay, he's up there. Cool. But yeah. Um, this was actually nice because I wanted to get the killing or last hit, you know. So I figured I would get uh, the explosive rounds for, well, stealing the kills. Uh, that's obviously, as you can see, not a problem here, and I think it's honestly not worth it. Because sure, you get more damage, but you also, it also costs more. And the trade-off is kind of bad, because the other option is, of course, Pulse and Wind, which is going to give you a lot more energy instead. And I like that. I like more energy. More energy means more damage, and yeah, that's what we kind of want. So you're going to have like a, a lot higher consistency with this in both PvE and PvP. Then we have this thing here. You know that annoying skill that will like stun people, it's like the delay, I uh, hate it. Uh, it's going to affect up to three targets, which is kind of nice, except is it really that needed? I mean, they're going to be a little bit annoyed, but I mean, then they are like not affected anymore. And yeah, I don't know, I would just go for this one. More damage is just good. So yeah, both PvE and PvP. Sneak attack or concealment, that's pretty much the two choices that I consider here. Sneak attack is the only option for PvE, in my opinion. Uh, you are going to get more crit rate uh, by 30% and super armor after you uh, like get out of stealth, so to speak. Uh, that is awesome. I, do, I use this for both PvP and PvE, actually, uh, simply because super armor is awesome. And I mean, why not get some more crit as well? But yeah, mainly, like the crit is the main thing for PvP, uh, for PvE, sorry, and for PvE it's the super armor. Now we died, that sucks. Just gonna wait here until we're back up. But yeah, that's the thing, because the other one will uh, decrease your damage taken by 50% while you are in stealth, which is kind of nice, I suppose. The problem is that, I don't know, I mean, you would have to pop stealth, stay in it and deal no damage and soak the damage. I mean, that doesn't make sense to me. Uh, for PvE, I have actually used this before when I've been soloing. I think it was Doom. Um, that was back on, like, when I had a lot less rating. And, yeah. It actually saved my, myself a lot there. But after, now I'm just over rate, like, gearing or whatever you say. Oh, what's that? Hmm. Right. So, um... Yeah, I, I don't really have that issue anymore. Um, I can actually add that as well. Oh my god, I'm actually talking a lot now. But yeah, uh, <laughs> I um, I am um, I am going to make new videos of like the new dungeons and stuff. But it's more going to be like a showcase thing, not like look at me. I can solo this with like low rating because yeah, I just have too much rating now to make it like any challenge whatsoever. And sadly, I did even run into Doom and especially Bronze with my own old character. Um, with too much rating, so even that wasn't really much of a like any um, challenge. I think it had like 100k for bronze, and people did it with 70k or something, so yeah, and that just felt stupid as well, but oh well. Just that. Looking at the third option here, landmine. I mean, that's interesting actually, because obviously uh, the landmine has less cooldown. Okay, that is, doesn't want to work, of course. 
I'm going to use this one as well. Let's get the exact one. It is 20 seconds cooldown, and stealth obviously has 30, or sorry, 40 seconds cooldown. So it's like half the cooldown. Uh, but is it worth it though? Mm, well, first of all, this thing here means that the landmine has to explode on your enemy. If you're in, inside of a bunch of them, then the landmine might just take off and go for the wrong one. That sucks. Um, they last the same amount of time, of course. Uh, however, this, uh, this does give a lot more crit rating as well. And here's the reason why I like this. My playstyle is using laser cannon. This um, stealth has a 40 second cooldown, so, so does the laser cannon. And I like to use those together. So using landmine, it's probably like if you use a different rotation for some reason, uh, then and because like, I've seen some people not using laser cannon at all, then you could probably go with this and just use it on cooldown. I guess that's cool. But I mean, we're talking about like half cooldown, but three times as much crit here. It's just a better deal to me because some people would argue that laser cannon is not worth it. I completely disagree because it's just a disgusting amount. Uh, I do have some uh, footage of myself doing. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Dragon Slayer. Uh, I'm probably gonna put this in uh, at some point in this video. And I also have um, what's it called? Uh, some footage of um, Clash of Swords. Yeah. And the damage on laser cannon is just disgusting. It's really crazy. Uh, this character has 348k rating. The other character that I played earlier today has 160k, I think, and the results of what I did is these two here, 9.6k and 3.9k. Not super happy about this one, could probably have done over 4k, but still, um, yeah, nah. Who's that? I've never seen that name before, someone probably changed, interesting, gonna look at that later, but yeah, either way, um, hmm. let's actually check this. That has... Ah, it's Hanabi. Interesting. Yeah, he or she said that, um, yeah, there would be a change of character. So I guess the name was also changed. Pretty cool. I like that name. And uh, we have like one Hana, there is one Hanana, and then there is Hanabi. So I guess that's a bit confusing. So now there is actually one less of those. Um, pretty funny story, actually. I did, by mistake, um, invite the wrong person. I got Hanana instead of Hana. Into the um, into the party and yeah, it was pretty funny. Or actually not because uh, Hanna was without a party for the Yakuza and I was like probably expecting an invite and I thought I had her in the party all the time. But yeah, shit happens, I guess. Uh, back to talent, anyways. Um, S talents. So here's the deal. I've seen some people say the meaning of shit. Well, it kind of is, except it's not for PvP. Uh, for PvE, you don't want to touch this skill at all. We're gonna go into rotation soon, but yeah, don't even look at it. Um, so we can disregard that directly. Gamma Ray reduces your cooldown of particle cannon. It's a pretty cool, um, like your crits, that is. It's a pretty cool thing, actually, except it's not because you don't really want that much or, or lower cooldown on the cannon because of two reasons. Either you're not using the cannon at all and you're using the snore. Uh, you're using the mines, the spider mines um, talent, or you are using the other talent with the stealth, which means you want to use the stealth together with the um, gamma ray or laser beam as I call it and then you want them to be aligned and they're obviously not going to be aligned if you go with this way so that doesn't make sense at all to me to use this one and um, then we have this one and that's the one you should be using 80% more damage three hits instead of you know 100% damage for one hit that's just more damage 240% instead of 100 that's not even a discussion however for PvP, this one, and I see a lot of gunslingers using this for PvP for some weird reason, should not be used, simply because, as you know, when you put down the, the, the heat, what is it going, I'm just going to see if we have it here, uh, yeah, there it is, okay, it's on cooldown, typical, but yeah, uh, when you put it down, there's going to be like a aiming, you know, red thing on the ground, and there's like two ways to avoid that, um, you can use an immunity, uh, say you're a soul dancer, or sorry, soul dancer. Say you're uh, an assassin. You could use the ice block, you know, or you could simply run away. If you get out of um, like too too far away from the gunslinger, then it's not gonna trigger at all and it's worthless. However, if you're 
playing well as a gunslinger, you could you know use your uh, Tesla thing for before, and then like the spider mine, and then they get stunned, and yeah, they can't really go anywhere, which is obviously what you should do. The problem is if you use the if you use the uh, focus bombardment, the, the there's gonna be like a red circle around your character. Then it's gonna be like another red circle that's left on the ground at your position. So you can simply just run out of it, and it's just so stupid. And I just yeah, I face palm every time I see people use DC PvP because it's kind of funny. Uh, yeah, you just run out of it. Pretty dumb. I mean, sure, maybe you could get stunned because you're unlucky and you get one hit, but that's like less hit than you know the normal one because you are going to get away from the other two. I can guarantee you that. So. I don't know, it's just stupid. Minigun. What this does is that you're going to actually get energy back and you are also uh, going to be receiving less damage. And that's nice. We want to receive less damage. So I like that. Definitely. And that's the thing. In PvP as a gunslinger, you are kind of your your like normal attacks and everything is like single target because you're shooting at one dude. If you have like a pile of them here, you can just use the minigun and just fire away, you know, and that's pretty nice too, actually. Um so yeah. Anyways, moving on. Deep talents. Oh god. This is gonna be a long video actually, but I don't care. We have to do it. I have promised you guys this, so <laughs> no getting away now. Um we're gonna go through all of them, and I'll go from the left to the right and then down. Starting with this thing here. Alright, I just died, so I had to make a little cut there, because we are not given access to the deep talents when we're dead, of course. And let's get rid of these. How many are there? There's only two, good. So, yeah, starting with crit damage, target weakness. This is amazing. Get it, no discussion. Sniper Soul, I like this, 5% more damage. Uh, you will obviously have to change your playstyle a little bit, you don't need to stand inside your enemies anymore, but actually run away from them. For both PvP and PvE, I would say get this as well, it's nice, 5% damage, just more damage. We like that. Um, then we have this one. This is for PvP, really awesome. I mean, more hit rating, we like that. You should definitely get it. For PvE, not so much, skip this at, um, like, yeah, don't touch it. Um, actually, yeah, this whole thing is like a PvE, a PvP oriented tree where the others are more you know, for both just putting that there but yeah this one pvp not for PV pve rapid fire um for pve i like this um we're actually going to talk a little bit about that as well because it's kind of interesting i don't know exactly you know just it just says that you know you have a chance to trigger rapid fire doesn't really say that much um but yeah it's, it's quite interesting uh, how it works though is that you are going to do a short like burst uh, or four short bursts actually for one and a half second four in total um, um, in place of normal attack and we're going to talk about that when we get into the uh, rotation in a bit that's going to be after draconics but yeah then we have sneak attack uh, this is not super bad i mean if you have some spare points you could actually grab this like for pve I actually have this, uh, simply because the other option, which is this one, is just totally shit. First you look here, normal attacks have a 15% chance to reduce the target's uh, defense, that's amazing I'm thinking, and then looking here, 200, I mean come on, who even made this, like for real? Like I, I think if you max this out you get like 1000 maybe, but I mean it's silly, like I'm not even gonna keep talking about it, I'm just getting sad. Because like I said, the idea is amazing. It's like a really nice talent, except it's not because it's just ruined by this. It should just be a flat amount, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5%. Then it would be amazing. But now it's just, yeah. I mean, let's think about it. I have 300,000 rating. 340,000. And in China, they have like a million, you know. And it's still 200. Like, come on. Ridiculous. Um, that's not the only one, by the way. That's the worst part, but yeah. Sneak attack, yeah, it, it increases your movement speed by 30% when you are in stealth mode, which would make you move faster, of course, which is nice in both PvP and PvE. I mean, if you're moving between flags or whatever you're doing, you know. Uh, for PvP, however, I would rather just go for the heavy firepower. Uh, it's going to increase your damage dealt by 60... No, it's 20% actually at full, full uh, points in there. I like that. Uh, and you're also going to have uh, suppression, which is kind of annoying. Uh, sorry, suppression, that's the normal attack name for 
being in that thing. But yeah, whatever. You're gonna uh, reduce their movement speed more, which is annoying. And you're gonna deal more damage. And yeah, why not? Um, because that's gonna mean it will actually deal more damage than your normal uh, normal attacks. Which is kind of nice, because they kind of deal exactly the same damage. I did test that a while ago. Uh, the problem, however, is, is that suppression, as it's called, not normal attack, suppression, is not going to proc wind mark here. Uh, actually, that's the wrong one. Where is it? Wind shot, yeah, here, as you can see. Wind blast. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where do we have it? Yeah, normal attacks and pulse bombs trigger wind blast. And that's not suppression, meaning that's not going to actually trigger this, which is a bummer. But moving on to where are we? Uh, yeah, deep talents. DPS, orbital bombardment, hit percent increase. Mm, I mean, sure, if you put two points, if you have the spare points, I don't personally. Sure, put it in there so you don't miss that thing. If you do hit it, like not actually physically missing it, because they could, like like I said before, run away from it, which is another reason not to like maybe care too much about it, but yeah, if you have some spare points, might as well go for it for PvP, for PvE you don't even look at it, so there's that. Um, because that's another thing, if you do actually do PvE and you use the uh, three hit thing, uh, you could actually pull the mobs away or they could run out of that circle, which is kind of annoying, so be careful of that. Moving down. Ooh, look at that. But yeah, moving down. Wind Barricade. Hmm. What do we have here? Wind Blast causes slow. Okay. That's not too bad for PvP, I guess. It's like annoying. Um, I don't know, by the way, how many points we are going to get. So I'm just going to give my thoughts on each individual one. And then you can just make your own stuff when it comes to it. You know, Because I have 18 points at the moment. We have this refinement core. Um, which is probably going to be upgraded. Because uh, that's ceiling peak. Okay, that's not even ranks, that's part numbers. Yeah, I don't know how this works, honestly. I do know, however, there is PvE Mark 2 and not 1. So we are probably going to upgrade this and get more talent points. It does make sense otherwise, because, you know, we're not even going to get down here with, all, with the 18 points that we have. Where are we? 5, 10, yeah, that's 15 already. Yeah, you're not going to max out, like, that doesn't make sense. So we're definitely going to get more talent points. Anyways... Win Barricade, yeah, annoying for PvP if you have the points pair. Not super impressive though, honestly, but yeah. Then we have this thing here. Normal attack and Pulse Bomb Incru gets more damage done. That's amazing, except it's not, because look at that. Flat numbers, not percentage. Fucking hell. Ugh. And yeah, this is gonna be like worse and worse the more you, the stronger you get, of course, because these numbers don't change. That's the dumb thing. Yeah, there's actually two ways of fixing this. Either you could scale with your rating, so the more rating you have, the more you would get out of this, or you could just make your life a lot easier as a developer and just put a flat, or sorry, a percentage scaling thing to this. Yeah. Oh well. Sad stuff. Ah. Recover energy on kill. Mm. For PvE, I would say no. Because the thing is, on small mobs it kind of doesn't really matter, it's on the bosses where DPS would theoretically matter, and bosses obviously aren't dead until they're dead, and when they're dead you, there's not another boss, which means you're not going to benefit, makes sense, right? For PvP, not too bad honestly, especially like the, the higher your uh, rating is, the more kills you're going to get, which means that you're going to get the energy back, and yeah. That's a pretty nice thing, actually. Like, with my character, for example, I could actually go for this and then go for the, um, like, damage for my pulse bomb instead of the wind, wind, uh, whatever it's called. Actually, let's check that. That's awkward. I don't know the names. Uh, pulsing wind, right. So I could go for this one instead and just, like, kill stuff and, you know, get a lot of energy. That's pretty cool. So that's definitely something. But if your rating is not, like, super crazy, mm, Basically, you feel that yourself. Are you getting a lot of kills or are you not? If you're not, then obviously this is kind of wor worthless. Runic Affinity. Now, this is one interesting one. Increased effect when recovery rune and other buff runes are triggered. Hmm. Well, well, well. What is this? I think we are having a translation issue here. What is a recovery rune and what is a buff rune? I want to say my suspicion yeah, I suspect these are the ones, maybe, that you get more stats from these, maybe? Or does it even mean that you're gonna get more from the talents itself? So, like, 
I don't know. It's weird. I don't know. So until I know what this actually means, or maybe it's the buffs that you find like in the game somewhere. I don't know. You know, in like PvP games, like there's those um, buffs on the ground. Maybe it is actually that. If that's the case, it's not like super amazing, honestly. Like if you have the spare points, you probably don't. But if you do, then you could grab it. But yeah, otherwise, nah. But yeah, I can't really say anything because it's like weird and I have no idea what that does. So yeah. Static feedback. Tesla solenoid, which is the stun annoying thing, recovers energy when dealing damage. Okay. Another one of those, if you have the energy or talent points to spare, you could grab it, I guess. Um, because honestly, when I'm just looking at this whole thing, uh, if I have this, if I have this, that one for PvE now, then I'm kind of happy. So yeah, then you could probably grab some of those things, but I don't know. That's actually not too bad for PvE even, because you are going to use this in your rotation though, even though the damage is not amazing. We're going to go through that later, but yeah. Hmm, interesting. Ah. This mine, dodge skill, summons a mobile mine with a smaller trigger radius and immediately explodes on triggering. Interesting. One question, is that mine going to do a knock knockdown as well? Or knock up, whatever it's called, knock, knock thing, aerial, whatever. Or is it not? Because if it just deals damage, I'm not too impressed. But if it does actually deal damage, it's pretty awesome, actually, for PvP, at least. Hmm. So yeah, we gotta wait and see at 90, test that thing. <coughs> Moving down to level 100. Chain explosion. When pulse bomb hits an enemy with wind mark, chance to trigger up to three chain wind blasts at nearby targets. Okay then. So that's like splash damage then, whenever your pulse bomb hits them with wind mark. And you want to use pulse bomb into the wind mark. We're gonna get to that when we are talking about rotation. Um hmm. it's not bad. Except that you need to get this one first. Which we already weren't super impressed by. <laughs> I want to say yes, but I'm probably gonna say no, simply because you're probably not gonna be able to afford this and there are gonna be better options. But if you can get this, then why not? It's like a nice bonus thing, you know. But it's like, it's, it's something I could see as a set bonus on gear. I know I played WoW for way too long, but yeah, it's, it's like a set bonus on gear. That's nice. But like actually spending our precious talent points for it, I don't know if that's a good idea. Uh, auxiliary power beta. Dodge and jump dash cost less endurance. Hmm. Four points. That's 20% less than. And there is a draconic that will further increase it by another 20. So that's 40 totally. Which means you're probably going to get five. Like you're going to be able to afford five dodges. That's pretty cool actually. For a PvP, I would definitely consider this. Definitely. That's actually pretty awesome. Um, firearm modding. Oh, snore. Yeah. Just more P attack, except it's so little. A thousand more. I mean... Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep, yep. You need to go through all these to get that one. I don't know. It's not like super bad, but I mean, I have what, 140,000 of these uh, P at physical attack thing. So getting a thousand more, sure, but at the cost of going through all this shit here, <laughs> I don't think so. So yeah, sad times, indeed. Oh, it's a daily reset now. Yeah. Well then. Yeah, anyways, we'll just finish up here, and I'll probably just come back to the rest later. But anyways, uh, sellout modding. Attacks cause a random small area burn effect and damage every 25 seconds. Hmm. Okay, so does that mean it's gonna deal 17,000 damage or whatever this will be? It's probably gonna be 100k, maybe. I don't know. Or like over 25 seconds? Or is it gonna proc every 25 seconds and then deal all this damage in, in one big go? Probably actually, and then. I don't know. I mean, I have 21 million HP. Other people have like. Well, but yeah, normally people have like around 3, maybe 5, 8 million, you know? I don't know. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Like I said, you're probably gonna want to go for this one for PvP, so maybe you grab this one as well. I don't know. I'm, I'm just like so put off by these low numbers, or, or you know, it's a bit weird. But maybe it's nice though, because I haven't actually seen it at five, so I'm not gonna like shoot it down totally. It, it's not impossible that we are actually gonna go for that, but yeah, it's a long way there. Level 100. 
CRT 6 gun assembly. Okay. Each hundred energy spent increases crit level for. Oh my god, I'm thinking. And then we're looking down here. We're nothing. Ooh, come on. <laughs> it's like I just read this thing and I get so happy, you know, and then I just see this and I, I'm just like, yeah, I just lose faith. Oh, couldn't it have been one, two, three, four percent instead? Sad times. Really sad times. Like that would have been so nice. But now it's not anymore, and I'm just sad. Oh, stupid red packets, go away. Target locked. After dealing damage to a single target for 10 seconds, cons consecutive, that is. You're gonna have to yeah, stand and shoot, which happens in PvE, of course, if it's a boss or something. No weirdness there. The target will take increased damage from you. Hmm. That's actually not too bad. That means 10% damage for like in 20 second downtime. That's actually not too bad. I like that. Just a nice increase, I mean. And cont con contingency? Is it a contagiousy? I don't know. Just, I don't know, gotta be on your guard here because these guys aren't the best at spelling stuff, but yeah. Um, when AP gets below 15%, trigger a one time stealth camo, reducing damage taken for 10 seconds. You can trigger once every 90 seconds. Mm. After trigger, yeah, okay. So it's, three, it's probably 45 percent less damage taken then. Hmm. What do we need to do to get that? Oh, snore. No. Go away. I'm making a video here. Thank you. Uh, right. Dodge. We like this, didn't we? Yeah, we definitely like this. Hmm. Not impossible that we might grab this one for PvP. For sure, especially like if you're a whale, you know, then that 50% is probably like more than what other people have anyway. It's pretty funny and sad at the same time. But uh, yeah, even if you're not a whale, this is like awesome. I mean, 45% damage taken or less taken. That's like reduced. Sorry. Yeah, it's great. Um, not a bad one, actually. For PvP, that is. For PvE, nah, not really. Usually more more often than not in PvE, PvE when you die, you're just going to get overkilled anyway, so you're not even going to get there, so... Yeah. And then we have this one, last one, Spread Particle Shield, Alpha Particle Cannon or Laser Beam, as I call it, grants a shield based on energy spent. Okay then. Energy will recover while shield is in effect. Mm -hmm. So, it absorbs 75k damage, and that is um, on... Hmm, that's actually pretty powerful, I think, because it's like... Five points that you can put, so I assume that it's going to be um, more. Recover one energy per second while. This is. I like this. I definitely like this. Problem is. Mm, no, that's not the problem. I like this one as well earlier, actually. So, yeah, these two are actually good news here, in despite all these shitty, sad things here. So yeah, that's a good thing. But yeah, that's my thoughts on the talents anyways. And like I said, I can't really make a build at the moment because I don't know how many points we are working with. But these are the two that I'm using personally. So for PvE, we're going this one, this one, this one, and that one. And for PvP, we're going for the three here and then three points in that one. Uh, of course, you could be taking some points away from this one and putting here if you want to get full there. My thought is just that we're not using it that much to justify that change and we are obviously going to benefit from this whether we are in minigun mode or not so i think that's just a better better option there all right we are back and yeah just did my solo dailies and now we're gonna have a look at the draconics as i promised earlier uh, actually it's only been like a second for you but whatever um so this is a list i made pretty early on and it's made for PvE and I later found out that it kind of whatever because this game like I said earlier is about PvP. Uh, don't mind the numbers either, I just kind of made an order of what I thought was the best for PvP, er, PvE, sorry. Uh, but we're gonna ignore the numbers and just look at the stuff instead. Um, I haven't added the new ones that came with the latest patch, these are down here because um, I've been lazy but yeah. Anyways. What's good and what's bad here? We're gonna go through and start with the, like each piece and, and yeah. So weapon, no banner. 20% damage, just just amazing. Um, then we have this one that's 
probably solid. I mean, this is like a better version of this one. Uh, when I made this, I think it was, it says level 80, I think it was almost level 70. So, yeah, it was level 70 when I did this, so obviously the damages are going to be higher now. Uh, these things here, I just made them for, it's easier if they are like level, for level 80 and it's 100 stats, because then it's just easier to keep track of, but, um, yeah. So no, I made, uh, I made this. Mm -mm. So this is the best one, definitely. Then this is a better version of this one. I'm just gonna give my thoughts on everything. So yeah. This one is gonna be consumed pretty quickly. And if you're unlucky, it's gonna be like for some bad skills. I don't know. I'm not a super fan of this because you can't control it. That's like the main reason for that. Um, then we have this one. That's actually not too bad for PvP. So we're gonna talk PvP here, by the way. Uh, because here's the thing. I was first a bit skeptical towards this because like, what if that skill that you would do would already crit without this thing, you know, then it's just a waste, right? But then I was thinking, if for PvP, that guaranteed crit is not going to be a dodge now. And that's pretty awesome, going from like a dodge to a crit, that's like amazing, actually. So, yeah, this is actually pretty, pretty solid. Um, then we obviously have these three guys. Strength is the best one, Ins is the second best, in my opinion, at least, and then Dex is the least like the worst of the bunch unless like i said earlier that you don't have that much rating um, and by saying that much i don't know like 100 like sub 200 i would say at least then probably dex is better than ins but yeah that, that's the guys so how much do you get even we are 85 now obviously so we're getting more but yeah it's it's like it's like a fair amount this one here also scales with level so i don't know it's not super fair at the moment um but yeah, hmm. this is probably better than the others, definitely, definitely, definitely. It's like, you know, a, a, a shitty version of this one. So yeah, there's that. Uh, moving on to the, let's do the necklace now, we'll just go like back and forth, yeah. Necklace, uh, for PvP, Need Dog is, I would say, probably the best one. Uh, we're just going to go through the old ones now and then we're going to add in the new ones and compare it just to make it easy because they're down there and I don't want to like fly back and forth all the time. So what we see here, Need Dog is definitely the best one here. Um, but yeah, it's quite expensive as well, obviously. Like if you're not playing like on one of the early servers, like S1 to 4, I guess, you probably will have some trouble getting this unless you're super lucky. But like, for example, on my server S7, and, and you know s10 s15 s20 whatever you know you can't really rely on other people to be lucky here because you don't have that many people to begin with where on the very populated servers you're probably gonna see a bunch of them on the uh, shop and 40k diamonds or whatever may seem like a lot but it's a far cry from what it could be for example uh, ross spent my club leader she spent like 220,000 um, for this coupons and another 220k or 250 or whatever it was on, on the other one, on the, on the wings, so yeah, definitely. This is awesome, burn targets, deal damage, um, reduce their healing, that's kind of whatever though, this is not wow, but if three or more are hit, which is not very, you know, like it's not impossible in PvP, definitely, like people are, or PvP, they are like stacked up, then yeah, that probably is going to happen, and then you will have elemental stats, and then you will have, yeah, a nice shield, so yeah. GG. Crit damage though, it is nice. I like crit damage, but it's just not as good as the Needle Fury. I have to say that. I mean, we have so much crit damage already, so it's like, me. I, I would just go with Needle, honestly. Uh, if you do not have access to Needle and you happen to get the crit damage, I mean, good for you. That is awesome. That's definitely number two. Energy optimization, Windshot gives you four points of energy. I don't know. It doesn't seem like that much, honestly. It seems kind of weak compared to what other classes get, at least. So yeah, I'm not too like fast about that personally. Then we have kill shot. Uh, that's pretty nice, actually. Uh, it kind of does the same as that middle deep talent green thing, you know, where you're gonna deal more damage the further away. So you're gonna do uh, seven percent damage instead of five if you have the talent and these things. So that's pretty nice. I mean, if you can't access the yellow ones, which I obviously understand. Um, so there's that. Um, then we have, uh, I'm just gonna go color and down, you know. When below 35% HP, you take less damage. That's not bad, that's not bad. Um, less damage taken per one meter between you and the player. 
So, uh, I don't know if I like this, honestly. Because it's going to be 2% less damage taken, that's like if they are far away, meaning they kind of only place to range people. Mm, nah, not a fan of this. And then of course you have this thing, I don't know. Just, I, I don't like that at all. Chance on it, P attack, M attack for you and your team members, that's always nice. On normal attack, you have um, defenses. Mm. That's not much stats, honestly. I guess it's gonna scale with, I hope it scales with your level though, but yeah, it, it's not super impressive. On multi strike, you are going to get that for six seconds, stacks three times. Mm. 17 multi strike procs in one minute, remember from our test earlier. Mm, that's kind of weak, kind of weak. I don't like that. Uh, but yeah, like we said, the stars here are definitely the skill shot. That's pretty solid. And uh, yeah, moving on. Head. Ooh. Ooh, this is really nice. I like this one. It's like a Ming thing going on here. Like you're just going to cut off one fourth of your cooldown just right off the bat. Or you're going to get 8% damage. Or you're going to get crit rate. Or you're going to get AP. I mean, there's no shit sandwiches here at all. Um, sadly, if you are rolling... Because that's the thing you can buy um, or, or stack up on orange um, draconics and then you can fuse them or merge them, six of them. That's 80% chance to get a yellow. The problem with that is that you might get the wrong one, like this one for example, magic damage. And if you do that, <laughs> that's just sad. So yeah, you don't want that, definitely not. So that's risky. So this is like a high risk, high reward thing. Because this is definitely the jackpot here. But you might as well get this one, which is kind of shit. Unless, of course, you can buy it. That's probably going to be like 40k. That's honestly probably safer if you can actually buy it for 40k. Because it's going to cost you 30k to just buy the stuff anyways. And then you might just get a shitty one. So, yeah. Once again, if you're on a high populated server, probably going to have better odds for that. But, yeah. Dragon's Whisper. Mm. Chance on damage taken. Knockback. Nah. Nah. I mean, it's not bad, definitely not. This is just better. I don't know why I put that for one for PvP, but yeah, definitely we like this one better because more damage. Damage always wins. Strength, okay, that's the same as these. I mean, that's just some more strength. We like that, I guess. But this one here uh, is, yeah, that's just better. I mean, because you get 10% less cooldown on top of everything. So it doesn't matter what your CDR is. It's like going to cut off one tenth of your cooldown uh, like time. Just uh, That's pretty awesome. And I assume it's going to work as everything else. So your current skills that are on cooldown right now will also benefit from this. It's not just the, the things that you trigger. So that's nice. And you get a nice shield. I mean, why not? Uh, chance on damage taken. Do, 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 do. Uh, M defense. Okay, this is not super strong because here's the thing. Water. Who who deals water damage again? Isn't that soul dancers? I think it's soul dancers. Yeah, it is soul dancers, and they don't really deal that much damage to begin with. Also, M defense. That's against half of the, uh, or or you know the not non dangerous part of the assassin, and also soul dancers once again, and that's the least of the threat. So this is not that strong at all, if you ask me. Um, in combat, if no damage is dealt for five seconds, you're gonna get some more. I don't know. I mean, when you're in it, you're probably not going to see this for a while, because you're obviously always going to deal damage. So you're going to get this while you're dead, and you run back into the action, kind of. Mm. I don't know. I don't like it. Same thing here. Not too interesting, really. Um. What's that? Now I actually get... Scared. I think I have this one actually. I need to change that. Hmm. Let's see if we can get my hands on this. But, anyways, Bulwark. Yeah, no. Int. Ugh. Why is it even up there? Why did I rank it like that? That's completely shite. Completely worthless. It should be like down here. But, anyways, yeah, don't go for that at all. It's almost as bad as. as um, where did it go? I think I might have mixed it up actually. But, yeah, whatever. Shit. Very bad. Absolute zero. Some people like to use this one in PvP. I'm not that. Like, I mean, you don't use it for damage, of course, so it would be like the movement speed reduction or like defense reduction. Mm, I don't like it. 
I mean, you have a defense reduction that's awesome, like on the skill itself, but like then you might as well just use Scorch or whatever. Or Royal Fire is gonna get at too later on. So yeah, nah. I would say no to this. Uh, because the thing is, for people to be like affected by EX Winter, uh, they have to kind of be in it for a while, which, which means they are a little bit too close to you anyways to begin with, so... Because you kind of have to paint them, so to speak, with it. So yeah, no. Water defense, now we're here again. We don't like that, because that's whatever. That's just against Soul Dancers, and they are, well, weak. Fire Breath, chance on hit, M attack, that is completely worthless as well. Oh, it's magic damage actually, that's why that one is down there, but yeah, I mean, this one definitely has a spot down here with the rest of them. Um, I would probably take this over... Okay, now I know why it's so high ranked there, because it's just that these are even worse. Yeah, I, I can buy that argument. Anyways, clothes, moving on. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That's another one of those. Imagine if you have this one and this one, that's brutal. And then they like proc together. 40% more damage just right off the bat. For PvP though, Apostle of Flames is not bad either. That's hit, we like that. It is 5% damage. And fire resistance. Fire resistance is obviously good against the Blade Masters, and I suppose they are gonna be more and more popular as people discover that they are CC immune, which is totally fucking broken. But yeah. Not 100% CC immune, but depending on your rating, you're probably talking about 90 to 100% CC immunity. That is really dirty. So yeah. This is actually solid. Maybe nah. I th I I think this one is still better. Yeah, it's it's nice though. Definitely nice as a second choice. On damage dealt on the same target for ten seconds. Mm, I don't like this at all, honestly. Because here's the thing: you're in PvP. Chances are that you're gonna swap targets more often than not. And sure, you get the damage boost for ten seconds. But first of all, you need to know that this has proc. And to like utilize it fully, and then it's like a minute cooldown. That's quite bad, honestly. Yeah, I don't like that. Evil Dragon Blood. <laughs> See here. Well, damage taken. Ooh, that's actually nice. That's actually definitely nice. Master Craft, you should, it, that should definitely be lower. This one, on the other hand, should be higher. I would, I would say it's probably the second best one, honestly. Because I mean, the more you survive. And like a 20% damage uh, like thing. That's awesome, actually. So yeah, I would probably still go for damage just out of principle. I like damage more than I like defenses. That's just me, but probably a solid second one. I would probably say so, yep. Ah, Dex and Con. Yeah, there's some more of those if you like that. Then you can grab those, of course. Not too exciting, though. On damage taken. Uh, 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 uh. This one is not... Oh yeah, sorry, it's um, uh, magic defense. Uh, if there was physical defense, that would make a lot more sense, because fire defense is actually against blade masses with physical damage. But... Uh, eh, I don't know. That one just got a lot less appealing to me. Yeah. Chance of damage taken, we have another one, you get a nice little... Oh, you deal damage actually, okay, to the attacker of magic damage. And slow them for 10 seconds. Mm. I don't know if that scales with your like your magic damage, if you could get like more, or how that works, or, or if it's just a flat amount getting on level. But yeah, I mean, if you have it, nice, but there are better ones. Ines, that is the best one of these stat-giving ones on this one, in my opinion, unless you're lower rating, like we said, or sub 200, which is actually not low at all, that's pretty damn good, but yeah. Dex, then Ines, we've been through this. Every, oh, this is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is so disgusting. I don't know how much. Like, I'm actually gonna check where is my game. There is my game. I'm actually gonna check it. Uh, just moving it over there. Um, I just got too curious now. What's this? This is on the clothes or the chest, as I rather call it. Do, do, do. Blessing of Dragon Blood. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so, for my level, currently I'm level 88. I get 18,000 damage shield. 18,000 damage. That's like one normal attack or something probably not even that 90 seconds cooldown so you can count to 90 before oh my god that's so bad <laughs> that's so bad um that's not too bad at all actually super armor is increased so you basically double the time that's actually pretty okay i kind of like that 
um, as a gunslinger, because, like I said, we don't really have that many like CC immunities. There are some, which we're going to go through later, but yeah. And here's a fire defense one, not super interesting, but yeah. Moving on, gloves. Mm. Mark for death. Mark the target every 30 seconds, and you will deal 5% more damage for 10 seconds. 20 seconds downtime. Not bad. Here's the thing, gloves don't really have any amazing things. If we exclude the new one, we're going to get there soon, but yeah. Um, gloves are kind of bad, no matter how you try. This one here, some people may argue it's good, I don't know how good it is, I haven't actually tried it, I probably should, but 10% damage is nice, but for a short period of time, what does that mean, like one second? I haven't actually checked it, but you know, if it's like even three seconds, I don't know. Eh. At least the cooldown is short though, so I guess it's kind of nice, but still, it's like, eh. I don't know, I'm not super impressed, honestly. What do we have here? Normal attack damage per 10, okay, so that's maximum 9% damage when they are low. Well, not super bad, considering we, we do deal a lot of normal attack damage, but, you know, it is what it is. EX Scorch, Royal Fire, and Fire Tornado damage. Nah. Nah. I mean, I like Royal Fire, it's, it's my favorite for PvP, definitely. But, putting a whole drag towards that. And 15% damage in the end of the day is not super amazing every like 45 seconds because you can't really do anything about that cooldown with CDR. So yeah, I don't know. Not super impressed. P attack, like we said, that's one of those. That's not super bad. It's better than this at least, which is Drent, but yeah. Chance on it, Mult Strike damage. Mm. Like we said, Mult Strike is not one of the main things for a Gunslinger. And also, you don't get that many procs. So... It doesn't actually say how long it lasts, but you know, let's say it procs and it lasts for, say, 10 seconds, you know. And then you don't get a proc within that, that's just worthless. So yeah, I don't like that at all. Then we have Int, that's totally shit. Then we have D3 guys here. If you are running your daily or weekly dungeons, I think these are actually really good. Because sure, you are not dealing that extra damage that you could have had up here, but that's not really important anyways, right? So if you actually get this thing and run your weeklies, that's pretty awesome, and probably even use it for your like dailies and whatnot, or wherever you can actually get those drops, that's actually really awesome. I kind of like that, to just turn it on when you're doing these things, but when you're PvPing, obviously you don't even touch them or look at them, but yeah, outside of that, pretty nice. Then we have another one of these, poop, moving on, pants, ooh, yeah, damage taken, I like that, I like that, definitely. Hmm, stealing crit from your target and rising your wind defense, that is actually pretty awesome, because your biggest threat in terms of incoming damage is definitely Gunslinger, simply because they deal the most damage. And yeah, that's gonna definitely mitigate that by quite a lot. And stealing some crit from them, that's also, also nice, so I would definitely say that's a solid... Solid... Um, maybe it's even better than... Nah, probably not. Nah, 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 nah. it probably isn't. But it's a uh, solid, I, I would like it, you know, if I didn't have this one, for sure. Uh, chance of damage taken, P defense and wind defense. Mm. It's like a worse version of, of, of this one, honestly, or, or this one. But I, I still like that one. Definitely. Definitely like this one. Um, like I said, they are dangerous. Mm. Moving on. Shadow travel. On dodge. You get more damage and you get more movement speed. That is actually really nice, except for that super long cooldown. I don't like that. Mm. If that was like a shorter cooldown, it would be very interesting to me. Like a 20 second, 50. Yeah. But with that much cooldown, I don't know if I'm s super impressed, honestly. Then we have this one. Chance of damage taken. You, yeah, it's just, it's like a shitty version of, of these two. And probably this one, but yeah. Uh, what do we have here? Chance on hit, you deal... Mm? Oh, it's this one. That's not bad, actually. That's not super bad. I mean, you are gonna it's, you are gonna have more damage than not, you know. The only problem is that if you're using, like, your... Like we said before, you, you're not gonna, like, track these things. So if you're unlucky, you would use, like, normal attacks or, you know, weak skills for 
for the first 15 seconds and then you would like you know, pop your laser cannon and then do your burst when you're reducing your damage by 5% because that's how I guess it is like you're plus 15 and then minus 5% and you like change it like that um, so yeah that's sad if that happens but yeah INS we like that we have con that's just some more defense then we have EX Thunder um, yeah. I don't think I like this it's not super no no never mind me nope mm -mm. nope ah if people are nuking you basically within five seconds 20 times then you are going to get 15 percent damage and super armor for 10 seconds 60 seconds cooldown cooldown is a little bit too long for me to like be super impressed and it's kind of also maybe hard to track it in the middle of everything you know like how do you know it actually happened and when you actually no, it happened maybe too late. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's obviously going to be like a passive thing that's on you, obviously, though. So I guess it's pretty decent. Yeah, what am I thinking? Sorry, I'm still thinking PV here <laughs> to like maximize your damage, but yeah. Um, then we have wind defense. Uh, that's like still the best one of these because wind defense, that's like your biggest threat, gunslingers. But on the other hand... Mm, then there's this guy. Honestly, I have no idea what this even does. <laughs> like, it's supposed to unlock some skill for you, but like, I don't even know which one that is, like the EX. It's a translation thing, of course, I get that, but like, wh which one is it? I have no idea. Um, yeah, I'm actually super clueless. Let me check the EXs right now, actually. Do we have anything that's on the wind side of things? Nope. Nothing called storm cell here. That's weird. Oh well. Oh well. Moving on. Boots. Earth shield. Right. That's one of those. I like that. Solid as fuck. Immortal guardian. Probably even better. Or that's something I'm interested in. Because I like AP. That's 8 percentage more AP. It's not like a flat shitty number. So that's something I really really like. Um. And then you have CDR. CDR is like the weakest one, except it's 5%, so I guess that's going to bypass all the diminishing returns or, or like, you know, the soft cap or hard caps or whatever, or the caps in general. So yeah, if you're going to roll, um, what's it called, if you're going to be do rolling uh, for the yellow drax, the boots is a pretty nice place to, to start on, for sure. There's like no bad stuff going on here. Um, then we have the... Orange ones. Dodge and dash consume less endurance. I really like that one. I'm actually really considering getting that one. Um, I kind of just want to save money though, in case there is some nice event coming up. But um, yeah, that, that's a solid one. That's definitely my favorite uh, of the oranges. Definitely. Movement speed, that's not really super good. Like, the only thing where I would be like, you know, oh, this is awesome, that's when you're playing, like, the the battleground, you know, that map with the ramps going down, and you have to capture the bases. You would like, or, or even the other one where you're, like, taking crystals. So you would, like, dodge, and then you'd like that movement speed to move a little bit faster. Other than that, though, yeah. Chance of damage taken, 20%. Defense and earthy, ah, yeah. That's against assassins and, well... And M defense. Nope. Dexterity, con, that's two of those again. They are like, you know, not bad, but they are better ones. Then when attacked, you you will get your movement speed. That's kind of nice if you can like, you know, make a trigger and then run away, I guess. But then we have a long cooldown and yeah, I don't know. Nah. Chance on damage taken, you get some defenses. That's one of those. That's just like a shitty version of this. And then you have earth defense here. I don't like that at all. And on CC, that's the one I have, by the way. It's not very impressive at all. Actually, should I? Should we buy this? Should we buy this? I think we're actually going to buy this thing. Where is it now? Mall. I saw one earlier. Where did it go? Do, 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 do. No, we're going to the shop. Let's go. Uh, no. What am I doing? Aha. Uh -huh. Gloves. Whoa. We're on boots now, aren't we? Yeah. We are on boots. Where are you? Wind Tamer and Wind Tamer. We have two options. What do we have here? INS. I like that. What do we have here? Hmm. No. 
Oh, I can't afford it except I can. So in favor locked. I don't know. Should I actually get it? I'm not sure because here's the thing. If I would be rolling for yellows, which is probably going to happen sooner or later. Hmm. Nope, I'm going to be smart, I'm going to be responsible, I'm actually going to save my diamonds. <laughs> because if I am going to roll for yellows, like I said, it might happen soon. Uh, I would be starting with boots, probably. Or it would be one of the ones that I do earlier rather than later. Like gloves, I'm going to stay away from. Head. If I'm lucky and get this, sure, but I could might as well get this one and then I just want to kill myself, so that's just really bad. Um, clothes, that is pretty solid though. That's actually pretty damn solid. That one, and then this one we're not touching. Wait. Oh, I'm not doing clothes at all. I have the Godly King, of course. Yeah, never mind me. Okay. But yeah. And not do necklace, but yeah, a weapon. That's a 50-50, honestly. Like if you're lucky, you could get this one, then win. Or if you're not that lucky, you get this one, which is still not bad. But I kind of want that one. So yeah, maybe you could actually collect or or save all the shitty ones actually that I get, and then you could like reroll. I don't know how that works. No. Anyways, so mm -mm -mm, pants. What do we have here? Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. That's pretty solid too, actually. So yeah, but uh. I kind of want to roll for the boots, so there's that. Anyways, ring. Ooh, this is good. Ring is also super solid, by the way. You can get damage. We like that. You can get 12.5% AP. That's also awesome. I really like that. And then you can get this one, which is also really crazy. I'm currently running this one here, and that is amazing. So, yeah. Ring is also a solid choice to do some uh, yellow rolling if you're going to go for that. Um, what do we have here? When above 9% HP, you deal more damage, that's nice, if, especially if you're a whale, because then you're obviously gonna be above 9% more often than not, or like, you know, it's gonna take longer to go below that. And then we have this guy here, normal attack damage, that's not bad at all as a gunslinger, because you are dealing also normal attacks, so if you have this, GG. Um, mm -mm, but yeah, that's a nice one, Oof, I really want that. Steel strength, lower P attack and M attack of target and increase players. Okay, that's a nice one actually. It's like a little trade going on there. So nice. It's probably the best, uh, best purple one for sure. Then we have this one that just lowers their uh, stuff. I'm not super interested about that. And then we have this one. It's like a reversed version of this one. Also not super impressive. Mm. Risk factor. This one is a lot of fun in cross realm, especially if you're a whale, because you're obviously gonna have a lot more kills. If that thing procs, it's like bam. But once it's gone, it's gone, and then it's like okay. So it's like one percent chance. It is not a lot, and it's a bit overrated. I personally would not use it or be too excited about it. It's nice to have it to experience it, I guess, but it's like me. Mortal Shiv, on the other hand, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, what? Oh, it's one of those again. Yeah, I don't know. It, it's probably like... Wait, is that no? Is that even what it does? Let me just double check this because that's like... I just get a feeling that's not what it does. Do, do, do. Wait, are we on... Oh, it's probably here somewhere. Ah. Oh, it is one of those actually. Okay, I just didn't have the, um, oh, I'm gonna take this actually and just put it down there, I don't know why I worded it differently, but yeah. Or, uh, uh, uh. no, this is worth the opposite, it's worth the opposite, which is kind of shit because you don't want to be in their face, so yeah, fuck that. And then we have these, they are nice, all of them, if you can get that, that's nice, because it's going to increase their EXS, which is going to make their levels be higher, as we are seeing there. Plus one, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. So that's awesome. So yeah. Mm. Now we're going to look at the new ones. I just color them like this, because there are like set bonuses here, which is pretty cool. Um, Gold the King is standalone, of course, but it's still really awesome. 
Then we have the blue ones here uh, on gloves. I'm just gonna jump a little bit here, but yeah, on gloves. Uh, what did we else have on gloves? Yeah, there was like only shit on the gloves actually. So yeah, maybe these ones are actually, yep, they are definitely. You have two options here. Um, build stacks on damage dealt, then you will release that shit and be like 100k plus damage. And it will be 20% uh, more damage if you have the other one, 60 seconds cooldown, which is, I hate those long ones, but yeah, which is this one on the pants. On Ten attacks received within within ten sec or five seconds. Sorry, you're gonna get a shield, uh, absorbing damage, and you're gonna get some damage resistance going here for P uh, or like yeah P res and M M res, and also oops it going out here. Oh, you're gonna get the CC break and super armor as well. That's pretty decent. However, hmm, I would probably say for gloves this one here is nicer. Because this is going to help the other ones as well. Because I like that set bonus. Like this one at, uh, alone is not super impressive. Like gloves is generally not super impressive. What do we have on pants anyways? Oh, there's those good ones. I'm not sure I would like to trade that for this. Or maybe I do. Maybe I actually do. Yeah. That's actually nice. Okay, I like this. I like this. Um, so probably the best to have is probably this one and this one, I would say, those together. Even though this is has long cooldown, but like, this one isn't too interesting. Uh, or is it? Oh, I'm a little bit back and forth on this. I have to think a little bit more on this, but yeah, you, you obviously get the idea what I do. Um, this one, honestly, is probably the best one. The blue one here for pants, while you probably want to get this one, honestly, because of that long cooldown. Then we get this one together with this, because yeah, head. Here's the thing. We have this one, the Ming thing, let's just call it that. That's really awesome, but this one is like, disgusting. 50% more damage, that's like another one of those, so that means you can have like 4, no, 55% damage uh, extra, which is crazy. Obviously that 12 seconds could be 14 or 16 or even 18, depending on if you have the other ones, which brings us to the ring. Let's go through this one first, the, the, the curse speed here, which is like as a set with other stuff. Um, chance on hit, cast darkness, yep, 20% AP, what the fuck? Because here's the thing, I would be like, oh, it's on the ring, so I kind of will lose out on having this AP here. But that doesn't matter, because you're going to have even more from this one anyways. Plus, the duration is going to be um, less, actually. But yeah, you, you could get it up to there anyways. Point is, it's awesome. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Um, then we have this one. There is another option. Can some damage taken, so when enemies are DPSing you or nuking you, uh, well, they're still damaged actually, they could just be touching you for all we know, but uh, decreases their crit by 15% for 20 seconds, that's pretty brutal. And if you have this one up here, uh, it will be 30% crit instead of 15% crit re reduced, and that is pretty disgusting. Um, then we look at that one, of course, chance on hit, 15% crit damage for 30 seconds, which is awesome, and also your next three are going to have higher crit chance if you have both of these. But just to summarize this, which ones would I want? Because you obviously want to know what is the best. I mean, that's that just makes sense, right? Which one would I want? Okay. Weapon, this one. If I could just choose now, right? Weapon, this one. For the necklace, I would actually just go with Nidox Fury. Um, then we move to the head. I would go for this one. This one is a close second though, but since this is a set bonus and other nice stuff, definitely. And also 50% damage, that's just crazy. Even though the, you know, the cooldown thing, or, you know, nah, 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 definitely this one, definitely this one. Um, on the clothes, I would just grab this one, partly because I already have it, and partly because it's actually really nice. You have a CC break, and you have the, the what you call, damage reduction, uh, sorry, what's it here? What does it actually do? CC break and eight, minus 8%. Damage taken, yeah. Or if you're low, uh, below 33%, you have 60% damage taken, less. And then you also deal damage to them and inflict delay. So it's pretty disgusting, actually, this one. So, yeah, definitely this one. Gloves, uh, sorry, actually, yeah, gloves, then uh, this one. 
I wouldn't mind this one, you know, but I mean, yeah, this one, definitely. And on the pants, it would be this one, for sure. Oh, there's more stuff. Oh, right, yeah. And then we have... I didn't know I wrapped this, actually. But yeah, sorry. Um, and then we have on the ring, I would go for that one, actually. I mean, these two are nice. It's just that on the necklace, I already have Nidox Fury. If it wasn't for Nidox Fury, then I would definitely go for this one. No doubt. Because 15% crit damage for 30 seconds is actually crazy. It's almost that I want to say that it's actually better than Nidox Fury, even. Maybe. Ooh, that's a hard one. It could actually be. It could actually be better than Edox Fury. If that's the case, then you probably then we definitely want to use this. I probably want to use this one as well. Although oh, it's a hard one. I hate when they're conflicting. Oh, this is a hard one. But yeah, all of these are just really crazy. But yeah, there is that. We are now going to move to the. Oh, I've been talking so much now. <laughs> it's gonna be a super long video. Uh, but yeah, um, we are gonna move on to the last step now, which is the um, rotation. I'm just going to show you as I'm talking here and recording this. I hope I'm recording. Yeah, I am. <laughs> that would suck. But yeah, um, here is the rotation that I came up with. Here's the thing. You don't have to just lock yourself down to play exactly like this, because here's the thing. You just want to learn these things and then just like adapt. So um, it's a lot of text, I'm just going to leave this, uh, I'm going to take a picture of this and, and leave it in the description as well, so you can just look at it and study it or do whatever you want with it, but we're going to look at some of the things and, and just like, you know, learn it basically, because this is, I think, the best rotation, and I will be telling you why soon. Um, I'm actually going to do this in Sona Vegas, actually, and, and just put like a picture of this in there. Yeah, that's that's a lot better. But we can just go through some stuff here, why and, and you know my thoughts, and then we're gonna look at some footage as I'm talking, and and you know just you know, I'll just let you zone out with the music and, and look when I'm doing the the 9.6k um, clash of sword thing, I guess. But yeah, the idea is to start with two. Actually, hmm, can we get this one in here? It's probably easier if I'm just gonna do it like this, so I can like tell you, you know, so I can just show you like this. Oh fuck. Yeah, I'm a blade master now. Typical. Yeah. -ha. But yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, main page. Start here. You just start firing normal attacks, obviously, because you want to like shoot that thing on the target. Um, let's actually go on the animation cancel first. Here is how your out attack is working, or normal attack is not actually called out attack, but yeah, it's called normal attack. It's a typo. You'll do the first one, bam bam. Then there's gonna be a small delay and then it will be bam bam again. But after that, there's gonna be a delay and you're gonna use two guns and fire at the same time. So it's like bam bam, bam bam, and then waiting and then boom. That delay, we don't like that. So what you can do is like animation cancel. So what that means is if you use a skill, any skill, your cycle of normal attacks will reset. So the ideal thing, uh, to do here is to use normal attack, normal attack, and then a skill. Normal attack, normal attack, then a skill. So bam bam, and then skill. Just do that all the time. Because then you won't be getting here, and you will have higher DPS. Because you don't have that stupid delay. So what you want to do is that you will start with two normal attacks, then you use your Scorch, assuming that you're on your target. If you're not on your target, you could start with a wind shot if you have a long way to run. However, it's kind of nice to start with a Scorch, because you will be... Uh, we're going to go through this again, so don't worry, uh, when we actually have the video up here. And I'm going to be like commenting as we are going in slow motion, probably, but yeah. Um, start with a Scorch to put the, damage, uh, the defense reduction on them. Then you're gonna use your wind shot, then you're gonna use normal attacks because you obviously wanna shoot into the wind shot to get energy. And then you will do the whole, you know, two normal attacks, then number one, because you swap the page. Then you're gonna use another two, use the landmine, gonna use another two, use the heat blast. And he from here on, you just wanna spam normal attacks unless you have full energy. Once you get full energy, stop normal attack, use your stealth, and then quickly use your EX. Uh, for PvE, I would say you should definitely use mm, 
I think is called Hawkeye. I think that the one with a long cooldown, the one that will give you more damage dealt to the enemy, not the crit one. Um, you apply that thing and then you use your laser beam. What that means is that the laser beam will channel into the extra crit that you get from stealth camouflage or the talent from it rather. And then you will use your laser beam, like I said, yep, benefit from that. And then you are into the two normal attacks again, use wind shot. And then you will use two pulse bombs. You will obviously use normal attack spam here. But yeah, you will use two, two pulse bombs which will fit into wind shot thanks to the talent. Uh, which we can see here, Pulse and Wind. Uh, that means your Wind Shot will last for 6 seconds and not uh, 3 seconds. And Pulse from Cooldown is 4 seconds, meaning that you can actually fit two of them inside. That's what you want to do. Um, before we keep going here, that's exactly what we're going to talk. There's like two sub-rotations here. Stealth into Laser Beam, as I call it. That's this thing here, where you're going to use your Stealth and then use the Laser Beam right after. Then And then those two will be synchronized with each other as well, because they do have a 30%. Um, I'm sorry, 30 percent. It's late now. <laughs> they have 30 seconds cooldown, or well, 40, but yeah, you know, ideally they will have 30. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be synchronized no matter what you do. So that's really awesome. And then the second one is wind bomb, as I call it. That's the the wind shot and two pulse bombs inside. That's what you want to do when uh, when your uh, laser beam and your stealth is on cooldown. That's when you want to use uh, this one here. So use this one as a main thing, then use this thing to fill your time, or to kill the time, while you're waiting for all this to come off cooldown again. Um, so, once you've done that, you want to just... Um, you do this combo here, basically. Uh, this one, and then you swap into the blue page, use a landmine, because you want to, you like, you know... Re uh, animation cancel, then you swap back again, use your normal attacks, then use the wind wind bomb co combo here, your scorch will be off cooldown, use that, use the wind shot, then you go on the blue page, and then you're gonna use the uh, thing here again, but you're not gonna be using the heat blast because it's still gonna be on cooldown most likely, and then you'll be using these two, then you store the energy full, use the stealth, use the laser beam, and of course the devil wind if you're using that, you probably shouldn't be, but yeah, if you are, then it's gonna be off cooldown again. And then you're going to use the laser beam, and then it's just repeat, honestly. I know it sounds, oops, it looks really scary, this whole thing, it looks like super elaborate, but we are going to go into Sona Vegas now, so I'm going to be back in one second, so BRB, and we are back. Uh, with a new day, and I'm a lot more refreshed now than I was last night, I was like super tired, which you can probably hear, but well. And also I noticed on the playback that my microphone sounds like, or it, it really captures my breathing, so yeah, uh, it kind of sounds like I'm dying or something, but that's not the case. Um, so yeah, rotation. Let's go through some of the basics first before we dive into some actual footage, and I will also be like running it on slow motion and stuff, uh, to kind of uh, make it easier to follow. But yeah, there's a few basics, uh, starting off with what we are seeing here in the first um, first like box. Uh, if, if you start from afar, because you may not always be like on top of your enemy, like if you're doing Dragon Slayer for example, you're gonna have the enemy spawning on you, and then you just get into position and, you know, start with a Scorch. However, sometimes you will start from afar instead, and uh, if that's the case, you could use the Wind Shot before, uh, just so you, you know, don't waste time running in. Uh, or you can actually just, you know, uh, use a dodge or whatever just to get in fast. It, it kind of depends a little bit on, on the whole situation, you know. But yeah, Scorch is definitely better to use before Windshot, because otherwise you'll use a Windshot, use the Scorch, be stuck in animation, uh, before you can actually start firing, so you're wasting like one and a half second, I guess, um, of not using auto attacks, which you kind of want to do inside of the Windshot, I mean, get the energy back. Uh, so there's that. Then we have the EX. Um, skills not always aligning, which is of course like a big thing, the more rating you get that will be like more uh, of a thing for you, I mean, or a problem rather, because um, uh, CDR doesn't do anything for your EX, so you're, you'll always have the 30 second cooldown for, um, for, um, for Scorch, but uh, if, you, if we look at the other skills that you will be using as well, they will have a little bit different cooldowns, depending on so you should wait with the Scorch, I would say, depending on the situation, but generally you want to wait so you can actually use it before your big attacks. And our biggest damage dealer is the laser beam combo, or the stealth into laser beam as we are calling it. 
which brings us to the next point. Uh, there are two sub combos, uh, as you could say, or main combos, depending on. Uh, stealth into laser beam, that's where all the damage comes from. It's crazy if you can make that proper. Um, and I see some people not using the laser beam at all, and I don't actually understand why, because, well, I, I see that, I, I just saw some discussion on, like, I think it was Facebook or something the other day, and, and they were, like, thinking that it was just a waste or whatever, you know, but I mean, I don't know, you don't know what you're missing out. <laughs> it's just too much damage to miss out on, you know. Uh, if you play it properly, because, yes, you do want to max out your energy. If you're not maxing out your energy for the thing, or, like, close to, uh, then you're indeed not going to deal a lot of damage, and maybe that's what people have done and not been super impressed. But if you do fill up your energy, which is super viable, I mean, if you, if you like play it well enough, then yeah, you just have to be disciplined and like not use that extra uh, pulse bomb, you know, when you see that the cooldown of your laser beam is about to come off, which also means that your stealth cooldown is also coming off, so then you know, get ready for that. Um, but yeah, like we, we touched a little bit upon before, like last night I think I talked about it, the stealth into laser beam, that is using, well, stealth and then laser beam right after, assuming that you are on full energy, so you definitely want to get the energy ready for it. Uh, wind bomb, that's your filler, that means uh, wind shot followed by two wind, wind bombs, so two one one. And then just do that on cooldown. Uh, you want to use the pulse bombs on cooldown, so just to get them as many as you can in. It means that they, they will clip at some point, so you use like wind, wind shot, pulse bomb, pulse bomb. Then you will have another pulse bomb, I think, off cooldown, right before wind shot comes off cooldown. Just use that one as well, and, and you know, because it will like, you will just get more pulse bombs into the whole, uh, into the whole rotation overall, so that's just better. <laughs> And yeah, another thing I think that is worth mentioning is that um, you do have some CC immunities as well. Um, or rather, like when you're inside of certain anim animations, you can't be cc kind of. Uh, laser beam is one of them. Uh, when you are channeling the laser beam, or like charging it up and also like channeling it, uh, you can't be cc at all, except for one thing, and that is the assassin's um, black hole. It will actually pull you away and interrupt the whole thing, so that really sucks. Um, Animations, like one, when you're casting your EXS, then you're also not going to be CC'd. And also the like, animation when you're summoning your minigun or like grabbing that, you won't be uh, CC'd. But like for PvE, like we said, we don't touch the minigun and then you're better off just dodging and getting that super armor for two seconds instead of trying to be like in a, in a invisibility frame or whatever we're gonna call it. It's not actually invisibility, but yeah, CC immunity. Um, so yeah, there's that. I think it's time to move on to the actual footage now, and we can see what we're gonna do. Uh, so, one moment. So, we are now currently waiting to get into um, Clash of Swords. Uh, I have an alt inside uh, that I'm looking at from the emulator point of view, I'm playing on my phone. So I am um, just looking for when a damage buff spawns to see uh, when to enter, so we can start with one. That's the optimal. And there it is, going for it. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna slow down everything now, so we can um, just comment a little bit easier here. Uh, right now, or if failed, as we can see, I should have used my score a little bit earlier there, but we got it anyways. And now we just need to fill up all the energy, and I also used my two minute cooldown uh, to go into the laser beam. Uh, like I said, or I don't know if I actually said it, but yeah, we, we, you need to improvise a little bit sometimes. As long as you kind of follow the base rules of, you know, going into with full energy and all those kind of things. And yeah, this run is not going to be perfect. I can tell that already, but it's it's good enough. Um, just to show. And yeah, since my cooldowns are so fast, I think I mentioned that earlier as well. Um, it is going to be a little bit weird to what I'm usually playing with. But uh, nonetheless... We have the laser beam and stealth coming off cooldown, as we can see. I should right now use the bottom uh, blue one there. I didn't, I don't know why, but yeah, that's a fuck up, obviously. Using the scorch, if it goes off, there we go, and now it's time for a laser beam. Uh, we did waste a little bit of time here, so we're only having like three or two seconds into the uh, stealth or the talent that boosts our stealth, but what can you do? It's time for the wind bomb combo now, using the wind shot, and now we're just getting uh, enough energy to use the wind bombs now and we can get the mine out there and yeah that was also bad by me uh, let's see here do, do, do. okay there's a wind bomb and here comes the 
Right, yeah, there's the buff there. I was just looking at the rotation as I'm commenting this. But yeah, we wanted to get there over to the uh, damage buff ASAP. Sadly, that did not align perfectly with our cooldowns, so we could not use our uh, stealth in the laser beam. But at least I'm getting this right now. Uh, the two most important things here is to use number three and number four, by the way, if you for some reason have full energy already. I mean, there's no time or no reason to like use one and two there. You just want to like get into the laser beam to get that on cooldown ASAP. But that went fine, gonna see if we can get into two wind bombs now. Um, I don't think there's too much more to say, you can just like follow that thing. I'm gonna move the window up in a moment and we're also going to go off from the... Um, from the uh, actually, here's one thing I need to talk about before <laughs> I, I leave you to it. Rapid fire. That's a bit weird, I haven't actually figured out exactly how to do it, but how I kind of do it, at least once that thing starts, it's going to be four bursts. Uh, you don't want to interrupt any of these bursts by using a skill inside of it, so to speak. You, you want to finish one burst at least before you use a skill. Um, the best thing that I'm thinking of is to use like a skill in between, but it doesn't work like that always, so then you only get like two or, or three birds, not four. So then you kind of waste it a little bit, so I don't know exactly how to do it. Like the best thing would be if it starts proccing right after you use your wind shot, because then you can just sit there and get like a lot of procs. So I think that's actually worth it, yeah. If you have the rapid fire happening, or, or not, uh, or no, if it happens, sorry, <laughs> uh, then you want to use your wind shot if you have that uh, available, because then you can like get a lot more explosions in that, because it's still out of shots. stats that I suggest that you use, uh, at least um, probably below 200k rating, above that I would suggest that you change the dexterity to IMS, and that's what I'm gonna do personally at least now that I'm 
this high rating. Um, moving on. On to the pets. And these are the two pets that I suggest for PvP. Um, the light pet, you obviously don't have a lot of choices. You will most, well, you will replace that with the, uh, with the one at level 90. Uh, as for the dark pets, you have two choices, and this is the one I would suggest, uh, simply because of their ultimate. Uh, this ultimate comes from the ground, and you can't really avoid that. Uh, where the Kuma pet, which is the other alternative, has a little ball that it will shoot out that is kind of easy to dodge. I just figured this one is just better. It has an aerial as well. Uh, Kuma does have a 10% damage increase when it hits uh, with, with ultimate, so that's kind of sad that like the method of delivery, as I call it, is kind of bad. But um, yeah, Dragon all the way. Also an interesting thing, I've heard people say that people in China even use this, even though they're like level 100 or whatever, so that's actually pretty interesting. I don't know why, I haven't really seen the alternatives, but good to keep in mind. Then of course we have the chips, these are the ones um, that I suggest. Uh, all the 800% increases, plus the uh, P attack and M attack, and the P defense. Um, and then we have the assists. Uh, for the uh, light pet, it's pretty uh, like clear to me which are the best ones, and that's these two here. For the dark one, it's a bit like, uh, don't actually know, because I mean, we don't really know how much damage that is and, all, uh, and so on, but like, uh, I, I think that makes sense to use these two at least. I mean, uh, Darkness Mastery is for level 75, so that just makes sense, and the other one is just, I don't know, is that one or the Heart Bomb, I don't know, I just went with this one. Uh, next one, Allies. This is the team I'm personally going to use. Um, Airy for the damage, Nono for the AP share, uh, Caesar for the um, CC break. Uh, we have Ming for the buffs and also the Silence Cloud, and then Johan for the extra CC. Johan is probably weakest of the bunch, so if they release something new that's like amazing, Johan is the first to go. Uh, as a secondary like Plan B sort of thing, uh, I would suggest that you instead go with uh, Chisei. Uh, I think he would definitely be a, just a little bit weaker alternative to Johan, personally. Uh, my Johan isn't uh, that high level, it's level 2, and um, it's obviously not level 105 like like the, like the my Shisei, as you can see. So that's why I'm personally using Shisei now, but if I had Johan at the same level and all that, I would definitely go with Johan, uh, 100%. And for the talents, or the build, we are using this for PvE, and um, so I'm just going to show you here. It's obviously Scorch, Hawkeye, and then for the deep talents, we have these. And for the PvP build, we have almost the same thing, except that the EX are changing. And I also changed the S talent, and there's a little bit of differences with the deep talents as well. And of course, the refine plan is changing. Next up is Draconics. Um, the big pictures that you can see, like the, the eight, that is the ones that I would wish that I had. <laughs> I do have some of them, as you can see, but I mean, not nearly uh, all of them. Um, so yeah, the big ones, that's the one I really want. I made some small pictures all around as well. That's more like, you know, honorable mentions or like secondary choices if I wouldn't be able to uh, get the, like, ones that are bigger but yeah you could just like pause the video here and like take a screenshot whatever and then like you know compare it and, and read about them in the game and see what they do or, or just go back um, where I'm talking about everything although it's like 40 minutes of me just yabbing away at, at Draconics but yeah <laughs> should at least give you a pretty good idea what to go for and what not to and last but not least the rotation um, obviously I'm going to cover it a lot deeper in the actual video, but here I'm just showing you the small things. Uh, there's basically two main rotations. There's the stealth into laser beam, and then there is the wind bomb, as I call them. Left side is the stealth into laser beam, which means you're going to use all the uh, blue uh, skills in order, one to four, and then you use your laser cannon. Uh, on the right side you will instead see the wind bomb, as I call it, and that means you are using wind shot, and then two cold bombs, so two, one, one and you use that as a filler while you're waiting for the cooldown of the uh, laser to go off again. So yeah, um, what more can I add? 
probably not much honestly uh, i probably missed something but uh, i hope you enjoyed it i know it's been super long and um yeah i <laughs> hope it wasn't too much but yeah I, I don't know i just started talking and then i just like couldn't really help myself um if there's any questions just comment away subscribe all that stuff uh what else oh right um if you have anything any suggestions you know maybe you think i'm doing something wrong or you have a better idea I would love to hear about it, although I would prefer that if you had anything to back it up or something, you know, so it's just not talk because that's just a waste of both our time, right? So uh, if, if you have anything to add, I would love to know about it. And uh, yeah, see you out there in the game, I guess. And uh, have a nice weekend.